Good morning, my YouTube family. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed that previous video. And I've got a beautiful hairstyle for you guys today. <laughs> Didn't see the previous video. Make sure you go back and check that one out. It was a very touching story. Excited to be able to share with you guys. So please go back and check out that video and also the video before that video and the video before that video too. And the video before that video before that video too. All right, first and foremost, let's get to this poll that we were talking about in the previous video here about naming the backhoe. I have a name that I've came up with, of course. It's just kind of natural, just comes to my mind. These things aren't even thought of and it just instantly comes out. So my name would be Backy, of course. Now everybody's yelling at me saying, oh no, don't name it that. It needs to be named something like uh, Henry because Henry Ford and uh, maybe um, Vader because uh, of an extra Vader, you know, being an extend -ho, you know, um, I don't know Vader and like Darth Vader. So who knows? Um, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure. And I'm quite confused with these things. <laughs> so I want to know down in the comments what you guys think. What should we name it? I'm really hoping for Backy. Come on, guys. Backy. We have a wonderful, cool morning, and we're going to take advantage of it. I have the Delcasel backhoe loaded up behind me here with beautiful firewood length logs ready for the processor. And I'm going to kind of share already how the advantage of this rubber tired backhoe is coming into play for the whole operation for Big Bob, Little Bob. They're all benefiting each other. It's just an amazing tool and this amazing chain effect that you don't realize until you start utilizing these pieces of equipment and me being able to share it for you guys to see. So starting out in the big log pile, coming out with Big Bob, taking these logs down to a, to a runner, to a runner beam, which I cut them in half with the chainsaw. I can then come out with Big Bob, scoop up maybe four or five of them at a time, load them on the front forks of the backhoe, and bring over a dozen or more logs at a time to the processor, which I load with little Bob right off of the forks. Saves a lot of trips up and down the driveway with the Bobcats. It also utilizes being fuel efficiency because the machines are benefiting one another. One is almost running less because there is a second phase of the operation where another tool comes in and relieves the other machine. So one machine isn't doing it all. They all just favor one another. And it's like this little, it's like this ant colony that just benefits each other and works as a team. It's really unique. So keep the flapping short. I'm going to share with you guys. Let's fire up the backhoe, Vader, Backy, the Delcasel backhoe, and get started here. I'm going to show you guys running a load of wood, the benefit of the backhoe already here at that wood guy lot.
Well, this is the beginning of the end and the beginning of a new beginning. Good luck to you, Greg. This machine has served me 27 faithful years, and it's going to serve you a hell of a lot more and really expand your business. Good luck to you, brother. God bless.